Hello and welcome back to Code Academy's Learn JavaScript course. This is dog years. Dogs mature at a faster rate than human beings. We often say a dog's age can be calculated in dog years to account for their growth compared to a human of the same age. In some ways we could say time moves quickly for dogs. Eight years in a human's life equates to 45 years in a dog's life. How old would you be if you were a dog? Here's how you convert your age from human years to dog years. The first two years of a dog's life count as 10.5 dog years each. Each year following equates to four dog years. Before you start doing the math in your head, let a computer take care of it. With your knowledge of math operators and variables, use JavaScript to convert your human age into dog years. If you get stuck during this project or would like to see an experienced developer work through it, click Get Unstuck to see a project walkthrough video. So here are our tasks. First one is create a variable name my age and set it equal to your age as a number. So here we'll do a constant and call it my age and set it to our age. Then we want to write a comment it just says constant variable that holds our age. We could check this off. Next one create a variable named earlier save the value 2 to it. Note the value saved to this variable will change. So here we would do let early years set it to 2. And that's going based off what we read at the top for the formula of calculating dog years. So this um, holds, creates, creates reassignable variable that holds early years of dog and then after that we go to three use the multiplication assignment operator to multiply the value saved to early years by 10.5 and reassign it to early years so we're just kind of finishing this off by doing early years and doing multiply equals which is our multiplication assignment operator and doing 10.5 and that's basically going to do early years times 10.5 and assign that value to early years so that's number three then we go to four since we already accounted for the first two years take the my age variable subtract two from it set the result equal to a variable called later years we'll be changing this value later then write a comment on that so here we would do let later years be assigned to my age minus the two years we already accounted for and the comment can say later years of a dog reassignable variable so we could cross this one off number five multiply later years variable by four to calculate the number of dog years accounted for by your later years use a multiplication assignment operator to multiply and assign in one step Write a comment that explains this. So here, not forget our semicolon, but under that we're going to take later years and do times equals four. So it's basically doing later years times four. That accounts for the later years. Yeah, basically what we said here, later years of a dog held in reassignable variable. So we're just getting that calculation here now. So we can say calculate later years and dog years and then we sign this one off here we get to check our work so we could do console.log early years console.log later years and if the math is right early years should be 21 and later years should be 116 let's go ahead and run that and we do get the 21 and 116. So that's right. We can move on to 7. It says add early years and later years together and store that in a variable named my age and dog years. Write a comment that explains this line of code. So here we can do const my age in dog years is assigned early years plus later years. And their comment could say takes our early dog years and later years and gives us total 
age in dog years. So we can scratch that off and go to eight. So let's use a string method next. Write your name as a string, call its built-in method to lowercase, and store the result in a variable called my name. The to lowercase method returns a string with all lowercase letters. Write a comment that explains this line of code. So under this, we could say const my name, assign to it the string Jose, and they're also asking us to lowercase it. So we can say dot to lower case. So that should return if I console dot log my name, it should return Jose in lowercase. Let me run that. We do get Jose in lowercase. So here our comment could say returns my name in lower case. So we can sign that one off. And then nine, we're going to go down here and it says write a console log statement that displays your name and age and dog years. Use string interpolation to display the value in the following sentence. So my name is name. I am human age years old in human years, which is dog age years old in dog years. And we're just going to replace the capitalized values to have our variable values. So we could do console.log and then take in this string and then copy it, go into console log, use string interpolation. So we'll use our back ticks and then we'll command V to paste. And then within there, we're going to take name and use string interpolation. So dollar sign, open and closing curly brace. And we're going to use my name. And then we're going to change human age with my age. Do the same thing. String literal or template literal and do my age and then dog age should be replaced also and that would be my age in dog years. And once we do this it should print that out correctly. And let's zoom out a little. It says my name is Jose. I am 31 years old in human years which is 137 years old in dog years. So that's right. Our comment can say logs our name, human years, and dog years. And then last, it says great work. You can convert any human age to dog years. Try changing my age and see what happens. If you'd like extra practice, try writing this project without the times equals operator. So let's try just changing this to something like one. Probably going to get an error. Let's see. Nope. That's 21, that's right, negative 4, and this is wrong. Later on, we're going to learn conditionals and how to write an if statement that checks whether or not we're older than 2. If so, we would tell it um, to print something else, obviously, or only to print uh, 21. But for now, this is correct. We could, again, change this to different values and see it update. So, again, because we're getting these mixed results, an if statement would help us clarify what to print but for now it is working it did ask if we want to do this extra practice which would just be changing the times equals to something like is assigned later years times four same thing here would be equals early years times 10.5 and that should work the same way right because we're only instead of using the shorthand we're just writing it out how it should be so we should still get the same result we did using 31 originally and we did right 21 and 116 we got the 31 years old and 137 so we know that this is working fine we basically took a lot of what we've been learning and applied it to this dog age converter. If you're still having trouble understanding any of this, then just look back at the previous videos. And if not, I'll see you in the next lesson.